This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live, brought to you by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, welcome to Lee, back to Lee Pitts Live here at the Haitian American Democratic Club of Lee County's second annual gala, 2017. Lee Pitts Live, of course, is Johnny on the spot in the Haitian American Democratic Club's gala. Primary purpose is to raise scholarship monies and funds for education. Speaking of education, Melissa <laughs> Giovanelli of the Lee County School Board, a member who was elected last year, is here supporting this event, and she was here last year as well. Good to get you here. Thank you for having me. Now, last year you came out as a candidate. Now you're here as an elected official. Would you say that the Haitian American Democratic Club played, played a role in your election? Absolutely. Uh, they supported me, and um, I support them. How are you enjoying the gala so far? Oh, it was an awesome evening. Um, it's actually almost over with, but um, the uh, entertainment was awesome, and I highly recommend anyone and everyone to come out next year for the, next, for the third annual. That's right. Now, you are, have you gotten a year in now as a school board member? Almost. November 7th will be a year, technically. What has surprised you most about the job? Um, I'm a busy person, lots of events, but that's the fun part about it. So I love, to, love the social events, but we are very busy people on the school board. Mm -hmm. When you say very busy, name some key things that you guys are busy doing that the public should be aware of that's coming down the pike. What, what, are, what are like the top two things that are happening in the Lee County School District right now? Building schools, that's one of the most important things. Um, holding our capital so that we can keep it in, in, the house, in the house and use it for our new schools. The, what, what schools are online? We have uh, schools coming online every year now with the growth in population. Give us an idea. Well, we have the new Benita High School and that uh, hopefully will be soon, uh, soon finished, the, I think, mid-year next year. And then soon after that, we will have, I don't want to say the Gateway High School, but it's going to be high school in Gateway. I'm not sure the name of it yet, but that's the next school. Mm -hmm. The uh, Lee County School District and sensitivity around different cultures. Here we're at the Haitian event. How would you describe the sensitivity or the support in place in the Lee County School District sent down from the board in terms of diversity and accepting all different cultures within our district amongst the students? Well, uh, I believe uh, we need to lead by example and uh, it starts from the top. Diversity needs to be right on the board. Diversity needs to start with the superintendent. Diversity needs to be us. Everyone needs to be diverse and we all need to be open to that and engaging and actively seeking diversity because Fort Myers is diverse. Mm -hmm. We talked, I mentioned briefly that it's such a large growth and with that the growth comes different uh, ethnicities into the district as well. Uh, we also need that type of diversity and faculty and staff as well. Do you, is that being discussed often? Yes, it is. Take it, us behind the scene. How is it being discussed? It's, it is actually with me personally because I feel like that we aren't a diverse enough um, district. And I want to see more of that. I think we need to be, um, we have 55% diversity in our community. And we probably need to be 60% diverse in our staff and faculty in, in, in the county. and so on. Absolutely. And uh, so we can trust that you're keeping an eye on all of that. Absolutely. <laughs> now, the, uh, the, you guys uh, sort of send down what you want to see happen, the board does, to the superintendent to carry out those functions. Relatively new superintendent, Dr. Akins. What's been your assessment of him so far? Um, well, I think that um, we all have room to grow, and um, leadership starts, it starts with the leadership. Uh, I want to be a good leader. I think believe in leading by example. So I expect that of our superintendent. Now you are the only Democrat on the school board. Is that correct or am I wrong? I, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a Democrat. Oh. 
Um, but I support. You're a Republican? I am a Republican. Nothing wrong with that. I thought you were a Democrat because you come to all the Democratic, Haitian American Democratic stuff over the years. I've seen you so involved. Yes. Well, I believe in diversity and I believe everybody has a right to believe in what they believe in. And I support everyone's opinion and I respect it. Okay. And you got support from the Haitian American Democratic Club and you're a Republican. That's out. That's a tremendous accomplishment. I think it's called diversity. <laughs> When you look at the Lee County School District, say five years from now, and you had your um, ability to decide how things will look, what if you saw certain things five years from now that have happened, what would please you? What would please me would be probably um, that the school board would be probably 75% uh, 75 percent diverse mm -hmm. and uh, only 3% my, you know, not diverse, you know, white. So I'm, I see four diversity people, minorities on that school board and three that's not. Wow, that's huge. Well, that's my hope. We're gonna keep you, keeping us informed and uh, keep up the good work. Okay, thank you. I gotta go back in, I think they got an award to give me or yes. something. <laughs> we were so thrilled to get the uh, school board representative here. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production.